Okay, so it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, I am in Alderley and this is the date of the 20, uh, no, the 30th, sorry, of March. At the moment, this is at the moment of the uh, Brisbane floods. This is the effect uh, at the moment from Cyclone Debbie. Uh, it looks like the neighbours there are fl uh, very fast being flooded at the back of my home here. Um, I do expect that to get bigger today. They're saying that by about three o'clock is, is probably going to be the, um, the most of it. I'm not sure whether that's true or not. But you can see the neighbours, they're, they're sort of getting inundated there. Um, got a bit of water down here, which may increase in, our, in my own backyard as well. Um, I was evacuated from work. I work in the city, the CBD. Um, and I got home about an hour ago, about 10 o'clock. It took about 40 minutes to get home on a 20 minute bus normally. But... Um, they just took their time, they were just very slow driving the bus and um, made sure that we all got home safe. So I really applaud the Brisbane City Council workers for, for their hard work in getting everyone home and, and everyone does need to be home by lunchtime today because uh, as I mentioned the, the worst of it is going to be this afternoon if it can get any worse than this. It was raining all night last night um, and it just hasn't let up at all um, this morning and we are, now if you're not familiar with Brisbane, we're about 2,000 kilometres from where the cyclone happened. So this is an absolutely unprecedented event going on and the rain is just not letting up. It's lightened a little bit now but it just keeps getting heavier and heavier as the day goes on. So. If you are on the roads, get off them, get off the road. It's not necessary. Stay with friends or, or whatever, you know. This is crazy and I hope everyone stays safe wherever you are in, in Brisbane and yeah. And thanks for all the emergency workers who are gonna be out in the next few days cleaning up all this crap and yeah.